Mezzanine of Allah, who are mostly precious, is most merciful. I am engineer Hani Kamil. In uh, lecture number three for power network simulation using MATLAB, we will learn how to customize the measurement, how to add circuit breaker, how to make control on circuit breaker, and how to add trip signal. So let's start. In lecture number two, we already uh, started to make measurement for voltage, for current, angle of voltage, angle of current, power factor, megawatt, megavar, and mega volt ampere. But as you can see, there is already many blocks. So we need to make only one block, include all this measurement. So we'll go to library browser. And we'll go to commonly used blocks and we'll select subsystem. In this subsystem, we will build our blocks so we can type and we can select all. Make that and paste. So only one block now, and this block only for measurement. So we'll start to build our block. We need voltage measurement and voltage input. We need current input. Start this voltage and this for current. We need again voltage signal here and current signal, voltage signal, current signal. We need to run a read. We need to read the sine wave for voltage and current. And here we will read the RMS for voltage and current. We can make one output. So we'll collect all this output signal in one output. Again, we'll go to select max. This collecting. All signal and uh, many inputs for one output. So we'll select how many outputs we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need we have eight inputs and one output. And we name it as M like measurement and we will collect or we'll connect voltage and current. Second point. Before we work as a continuous, actually, this continuous um, work as 50 microseconds for large system uh, simulation will go slowly. So it's better to select discrete and we can use the right sample time. For our our simulation, already uh, our simulation based on 60 hertz. So 60 hertz means 16 millisecond for one cycle. For half cycle, it's around 8.3 uh, 
uh, milliseconds. So we can say if we divide for 50 sample, this means 1.6 uh, or 0.16 millisecond. So we can write 1.6 e minus 4 and let's make stop time 100 seconds so it will not stop and we can make more simulation or more running now we will run we need to extend this block see all measurement we know that first three is voltage QV and next three is a current ampere then next three from here it is voltage angle and next the or current angle Uh, this number for power factor the megawatt, megawatt, and megawatt ampere. So power factor. Then you will compare power factor here is positive because already we used before the capacity load. So make it conductive again, or we can use this as no problem. So if we run, it will be negative power factor. Numeric display format I use bank. This will make better for display. Now we have our measurement. We need to start adding circuit breaker to make more control. So again, we'll open library. And we'll go simscape and electrical specialized power system fundamental blocks elements. We have single phase circuit breaker, also, we have three phase circuit breaker. We'll select three phase. Let's start. Adding the breaker. First, we need to open. Initial status is open. We can start close or we can select open. The switching control you can control phase A or phase B or phase C or you can control all of them. Switching time. This internal control means you can, for example, switching at second number five, switching on. And switching off at second number 10 or if you need more control you can select external signal so if external signal on external signal will come this means the breaker will on signal will off this means the breaker will off this is the breaker on resistance for example 100 microsecond 
and micro ohm and leave the others so now we can see there is one command signal now is available if we didn't select external it will disappear if we select external it will appear again We'll connect our system now the breaker need external command and next save I can library if we select for example this constant And we put it here so if this constant is 1 breaker will on if this constant is 0 breaker will off let us see now 1 so breaker is on new constant is 0 breaker is off constant 1 breaker is on we need to make better control so again we can select from the sport we can select a switch toggle switch for example I, I prefer toggle switch you can select the push button but for push button you need to make a more latch circuit so double click on this toggle switch select the item you need to connect so now it appears here and select connect so uh, label for label top label it's on bottom label is off in top position value is one and bottom position value is zero you can select different values as you like you can add labels also for the switch but I will hide the label and select ok now run again so it's on constant is 1 system is on if I select off constant is 0 breaker is off now I need to add trip signal you can select and gate so we'll go to logic and you can name this as on off and name on as trip so if trip is zero if if on is one and uh, trip is one it will uh, and uh, the output and will be one so we can select here we put not So if there is one here and there is a trip, so it will be zero. So command will off. If there is uh, no trip, so it's zero. There is one here, so I can give one command to circuit breaker. Let us see. I make on. Now breaker is on. 
if there is a trip so breaker is off there is no trip so breaker can be on again this for this lecture at the end thank you for watching this video my contact as shown please subscribe my channel you get notification for the coming video